In response to the growing concerns from farmers about this year's disappointing groundnut harvest, President Adam Oparu visited farmlands in rural communities to assess the challenges facing the country's agricultural sector. This visit brought to light the difficulties farmers are facing due to the unpredictable climate conditions which have devastated this year's groundnut yield. At Sinchubaya, in the Central River region, one of the heat areas, local farmers are struggling through one of the toughest seasons in recent memory. Sheikh Murjalo, a farmer in the area, expressed his frustration, noting that the granite yield had fallen for short of expectations. <laughs> The reasons the groundnuts failed this year is that the initial fruiting period coincided with dry ground. And as a result, the groundnuts did not fruit as expected. During his visit to the farm, President Barrow acknowledges the role of climate change in this decline. He assures the farmers that the government will take swift action to support them. The groundnuts definitely they didn't do well this year. And it is a cash crop. So if it is cash crop for the farmers, that means it will affect them. It will affect their, their cash flow. It will affect their income. You know, and that will affect families. You know, so that's why we are here as a government, as a head of state, to see for myself so that when we get back to Banyun, we will sit around the table with our technicians you know, and look at this, see what best we can do. While the impact of climate change continues to affect granite production with training and resources, farmers are better equipped to handle the uncertainties of climate while protecting the country's staple crops. Moreover, as the Gambia grapples with the consequences of climate change, the President's pledge to aid farmers offers hope. The future of the granite sector remains uncertain, but with continued governmental support, Local farmers may have the tools they need to adapt and recover in the seasons ahead. Masiruka for N24 News, reporting from the Central River region.